Hey everybody, Adam from Alex Gunworks. Um, firing pin test today. We want to make sure our firing pin's got good engagement. What's the easiest way to do this? Number two pencil, make sure you got a little bit of a lead, or a lead eraser base on there so that we don't hurt the firing pin. Hold the gun like this, boom. I want it to shoot out of there pretty good. If it doesn't leave the, you can't get a pencil to leave your gun, you got a problem. So there's a couple of factors here, but if you're having ignition problems, the absolute first thing to check is your cases. You wanna make sure that your primer is seated all the way in the cup of the rim of the case and not seated back a little. If it's seated back a little, when the firing pin hits it, it will seat the case, or seat the primer all the way, and then the second time you, if you cock the gun and shot it again, it would usually go bang. So check your primers first. If your primers are good, then we gotta do a little more research. And typically the next thing to do is to check a little, or wiggle here, we don't, we want this to be tight. So I don't want any play here. That's checking the length of your hammer strut. Um, the next thing to check is to make sure that if you take the mainspring out, that your, your um, mainspring is moving freely uh, inside of that housing and that the spring's working properly or hasn't broken. Um, and then the other options in there are maybe that we've got a broken firing pin spring or something's obstructing that tunnel, or that the firing pin, and this is the most common, um, that the firing pin's bent. So what you get with the firing pins is a lot of times, this is very common USPSA type guns, because we're dry firing the guns a lot. Um, the firing pin will cut, you're dry firing, the firing pin will come through, you've got a case in the chamber that has no primer, a dummy round. The flash hole in that case is not centered. So the firing pin comes in, catches the edge of that case, it centers itself going through that hole, and that bends the tip of the firing pin, and then your firing pin drags and causes problems. And it, a lot of times you get intermittent problems that way. Um, so that's the, this is the test. If it's not doing this, start doing some problem solving. But if it passes that test, then it's probably something other than the, the ignition part of the gun. Hope that was helpful. Hope to see you guys on the range soon.